Born ready, Leo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, I think we are live this morning on uh, Jamaicans.com. And let me see for sure. I think we are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Shernet. How are you? Good it's morning, good. Leo. I'm fantastic. How are you? It's good to see you. You look beautiful this, this morning. Why, thank you, Leo. I roll out of bed just like this. Says this morning. You didn't get what? it? What? I said you look beautiful this morning. Okay, well, like I said, I rolled out of bed just like this, this morning. <laughs> Good morning, uh, audience uh, on Jamaicans.com and everywhere else. Uh, this is Leo Gilling, and we have, what's her name again? Shernet. Hey, hey, Leo. Uh, Hello, Shernet everybody. Oh, Lord. Did, did I pronounce that right? Shernet Bailey. Belle, yes, from, yes. From from Manchester. Beautiful Manchester, beautiful Manchester. I didn't I say love anything it. about no beautiful Manchester. I would say Manchester. Did you know? No, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. You know what though? Um, I I will if I could just have a plug for Manchester right now. No, 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 no plug for Manchester. No, no, Leah, we have to do what? this. We have to do this in support of our farmers in Jamaica, in particular in oh, Manchester. Okay. We've been going okay. through a drought. In, for a very long time, Manchester has been with, without rain for a while. So do everybody, do rain dances, start praying, do everything. Farmers when, are when they do the rain dance, dying. When they do the uh, rain dance, you, they, you know, they do a, no, 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 no. They use a stick with two hands and then on point. And they walk around with the stick and they no, try No, that is not, that's to find water if there's well water beneath. But oh. clearly it's not working, so we want it from above. We need the blessing. Oh, okay. So so that the one they have to find the water in our well. Yes, Leo, that's to find the water and oil. So the, okay, so the so the rain dance is the is the one we we'll... this is what you need to do to get the rain. We need to pray, oh, don't pray. Because, yeah, oh. seriously, they're losing millions. Okay. They're losing was, millions in the ground. I thought it was something right now. else. Uh oh, they're, yeah. they're losing a lot of food, food crops. Yeah. Because of there's no rain. Uh, so, um, you know, so we have COVID that's causing extreme yeah, pressure yeah, yeah, yeah. on the farmers. And then now we have drought. Yeah. That's, that's not a good thing at all at all. Dutty um, tough but, right now, dutty tough. But, but Christiana is known to be cooler. It uh, is no cooler, but also experiencing the drought. And Irish potatoes are just dying in the ground. They don't get an opportunity to... um to sprout, to shoot, to do anything. So they'll be lucky. Some of the farmers are saying they'll be lucky if they get back seeds from, you know, the 20, 30 plus, plus, plus buds that they planted. So that's pretty sad. Wow. That's Everything drying up, man. Wilting that, in the sun. That it's is not, not cool right now. I, I mean, I, 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 um, the farmers are already having a bad time and, and to hear yeah. this, this is not, this, this is not good at all at all. Uh, it's not, you, but you know what? Better must come, as we say, and rain is going to fall soon. I can feel it in my bones, my elbow, my everything. See, all my neck. Rain will come, farmers. Trust me, sure, next says so. It is coming. It is you coming. Feel, you feel the pain of old age or something like that? Is that what it is? <laughs> yes. You don't know it, though. Rain will come. You feel it in your joint. <laughs> yes. You're supposed to, you know, because they say when, when rain will come, you, 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 the, any arthritis where you have start peeing up. I, that's what I say, right? All, yes, man. <laughs> I feel it all the way from Florida for them. Rain coming. <laughs> Rain is coming. Yesterday, I posted on, on Facebook the, 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 the brush where they make from coconut. Yeah. You, you know that brush there? Yes. Sure, sure, you ever use that brush? Of course. No, no, you. Let me see your knee. Let me see your knee. Let me see your knee because Leo, the you only know you time. If you see my knee, you're going to see too much this morning. Come on now. The only way that I can find out if you really use that I'll send brush your picture. is I'll if send the your knees picture are knee. dark. The knees I'll must send be your dark. picture. Please. Leo, I want everybody needs darker than this, Prove, all of no, them. No, 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 no. If you, if you well, use every brush. Black people, me know. So if, me don't know about what you are saying. If you use but brush. Down, yes, it's dark. It's a <laughs> 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 oh my god you know this morning sure that we have, i always have fun with you and people me not a close to her she's 400 miles from me okay 
All right. Yeah, no, well, that's I, as close as I want to get people. No, 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 no. You don't want to get no closer than that. Uh, no, I don't. No, I oh, don't. Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> this morning, we have some, uh, some really good people lined up for the show this morning. Uh, we have Xavier Murphy, the editor and chief buckle washer and everything of jamaicans.com this this um uh, uh this place that we are at this morning uh xavier started this some 20 odd years ago so uh, uh well, it looks like he's about to come on but xavier we have coming on um coming up this morning we have um jeffrey anderson gunter he is an actor if you watch, watch mark for death and some other movies he is in those movies really, really, oh really good God, to see him. Oh my God, incredibly bad. funny. Yes, yes, him funny, bad, Lord of mercy. He is not from Christiana though, he's from Kingston. <laughs> okay, good for uh, him. Just want you to know that he's from Kingston, uh, Jeffrey Anderson, Xavier is from Kingston. He's not from Manchester either, okay? And, <laughs> um, and then we have uh, the COVID care kit administrators, the organizers, Cherie Davis, Leslie and Samuels, and Professor Hamilton all coming on this morning. We have a whole heap of things to chat Wonderful. about this morning. But, and, and they all know that they have to come on camera, right? They all know that they have to come on camera. In fact, I see Xavier uh, with his, um, uh, he's, he's on audio right now, but he needs to know, say, him. oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Xavier! Morning. You don't look like you wake up at all at all. No, man. I have my I have my how many corn porridge? <laughs> Kingston See, now people. you're just showing off. Kingston now you're people. just showing off. Oh That's Lord. Kingston people. Them, how many walking down the street? How many? What do you mean, Kingston people? I'm gonna oh. alone drink. I'm gonna alone drink how many corn porridge, man. Oh, you don't drink how many corn? No, sir. No, sir. I'm drinking. No, real... he's too bougie. Don't pay him no mind. Us in Manchester, we drink it to you here. Real corn meal porridge. Real corn meal porridge. Yeah, you can't have the corn meal, but the how many corn? That take no, work. That a lot of people do this, this right. man. Right. Yeah, but I put, I put on sitting from last night to cook for this man. That don't make no sense at all to me. No <laughs> Just go and chew on the corn meal and everything and spin it around a couple of times and you're ready with your condensed milk. <laughs> <laughs> it take work. Good morning, Xavier. Meet Shernet. I don't know if you met Shernet. Have you met Shernet? No, no I've never met, met. Shernet. Hi, how are you? I'm you doing good. You depend on Send me you somebody how many do. Can you hear my belly? <laughs> Lord of oh, mercy. Thank you. <laughs> Xavier, <laughs> I want to make sure that you are from Kingston and not Manchester. I, have, I am from Portmore. I born oh. in Kingston, grew up in Portmore. Oh, good. As long as you're not from Manchester, we are right. Because this woman yeah, just a uh, take over everything. Everybody we come from this show yeah, is Manchester here. And I can't, I mean, I can't take it no more. That is so not true. What they are is, you know, they're Jamaicans. What's wrong with you, Leo? They What's with this trying to all claim, so they are separate us. Them are Leo, family. stop it. I <laughs> We're Manchester. one people. We're one people, man. Right? right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're one people. <laughs> That's right. Xavier, it's good to see you last week. You had a birthday party. Happy birthday. Happy 25th and um birthday. And thank this, you. This, thank you. You look like you Did had you a say wonderful 25? time. 25. <laughs> Don't look at Deva 24. My word. <laughs> what are you doing? That it's a how many corn. <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> Xavier, um, you know, this. this I saw an article on you this morning, um, being the the editor and chief and uh, you know buckle washer and everything. So, so Leo, one minute here. You're yeah. kind of low. I don't know if it's me. Are you hearing me clearly? I'm hearing you quite clearly. I'm low. I'm. Yeah, sure you maybe you may maybe you are a little low. I've turned my volume up. Me, let me see. Sure okay, I hear you now. You're good. Uh, You're good. Oh, okay. Because I know, sir. Jesus. You almost run me off of the screen a while ago. All right. Well, I know that. Xavier, think about that. You ever hear say Leo low yet? I mean, you made me it's, panic. I was about I to know. call 911 yeah. because yeah. is Leo ever low? Oh my God. We are in serious trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so you're um, saying. We're saying 
you you are um Ed Buckle washer chief um uh fireman everything of Jamaicans that come so I want to introduce you as that but I saw an article earlier saying all of this good stuff about you tell us about jamaicans.com where it all started and all of that stuff so I, I usually tell the story in the beginning in the <laughs> beginning <laughs> God created the heaven and the earth Jamaica <laughs> yes yes in the beginning God created Jamaica <laughs> 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 well, you know, the, the story goes like this. Um, quite a few years ago, um, we're going to be 25 this coming December, 25 years old. Oh. And um, quite a few years ago, I was fortunate to be working for an electronic marketing company um, 27, about 27 years ago. Um, I'm dating myself, so Sharonette. I'm not, 25. <laughs> I'm not 25. 27, bus okay. up to 25 already, right? <laughs> but you can you be know. whatever you want. <laughs> it's all like my wife. My wife is 35 and she has not moved. Oh, oh good girl. Good girl. Listen, there's no need to move. We do not move. We find our age that we are comfortable with and we just stick with it. Very smart. Exactly. Exactly. That's where she's at. She's at the yep. age and she's stuck with it. But so I digress there. Um, yeah. So 25 years ago or 27 years ago, I worked at an electronic marketing company. And for those of you who remember, there was a, a thing called CompuServe. There was a thing called yes. AOL. There was a thing yes. called Prodigy. Yes. yes. And, all of those. And uh, those were the major uh, platforms at that point in time and community at that point in time. The internet was kind of on the, the back burner. You had one browser, which was called Mosaic. Uh, you didn't have a Netscape browser yet and, and so on. Um, so I worked for this company. They marketed travel products um, for major companies, including Disney, on these platforms. And so the internet was coming on. I went online and I searched for Jamaica, obviously. I'm going to search for Jamaica, um, you know, on Alta Vista and Yahoo. And, and there was no Google back then just yet. Started later that year or thereabouts. In fact, I think we started the year Google started, is the year Jamaicans.com started. So anyway, three si two sites came up. One by a young lady, which is featured on a timeline, Jamaicans.com timeline. So if you scroll back down, I think on Thursday, we, we featured a throwback interview with a, a young lady named um, uh, Arlene, who started one of the first, started the first Jamaican website. It was an educational project by her mm -hmm. and, and she had information on there. And then the second site I saw was a gentleman was keeping a directory of folks from alumni. So you'd have JC, KC, you know, all these schools listed. Was that Aki.com? Aki no, it wasn't Aki.com. Aki.com Aki. started later. In fact, later on, okay. Yeah, in fact, I know the gentleman that started Aki.com. We're, oh, we're good friends, uh, yes. went to the same high school. And, and so um, so anyway, um, I said, okay, there's only two sites out there. Nothing really extensive. It's great seeing Jamaica represented, but nothing really extensive. And I already had some content because previous to that, I had a newsletter that I used to publish in South Florida called Enough Respect. Right. And um, so I had content. So I said, you know what? Why not? Why not Let's start a website? Let's put it on. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so I started Jamaicans.com. It wasn't started as Jamaicans.com. It was started as an unofficial website on Jamaica. Because getting a domain name back then required that. I remember that. that. Huh? I so remember, remember that. that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I remember that. <laughs> yes, it, it was called that it, the first the first year and a half, maybe two years, because getting a domain name back in that time required that you give them your first child, you give them blood, <laughs> um, um, you give them fingerprints, and all kind and, of biometrics, right? Exactly, and, and back then it wasn't even electronic; right. it was you had to mail things and you had to fax things and go back and forth with them 
it wasn't electronic at that point. Hey, so it took hey. us quite a while to get the domain jamaicans.com. But when we did, we moved away from the name unofficial website on Jamaica to jamaicans.com. And so we began um, the, 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 the content and what was driven on there was really driven by, by um, school children, uh, people who had it, because back then, you, you didn't have Jamaicans on the internet. You really didn't no, have. No, no. It took a long time for Jamaicans to yeah. come on. I'm telling and, you. And, and Fred? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not even that. It's just, I remember talking to a friend to this day, every time I see him, he said, Xavier, when you told me about the internet and the concept of the internet, I just, he looked at me like I was crazy. He just never got it. I had yes. another cousin of mine, and she said to me the other day, she remember when we were driving, we're going to St. Elizabeth, and I was telling her about this, and she's like, she just, the concept just never got to her, even though I was trying to explain it, you know? So um, basically, we, you know, the content was driven by the people who were online back then. So they would say it was more about Jamaican culture. They wanted to learn about Jamaican culture, and we slowly built out. We had a big forum at one point in time. A forum is the first phase of what you call social media today. We had about 60,000 right. people on, right. on a forum on jamaicans.com. We had one of the right. largest forums and friendships were built there and, and even some marriages. And I won't <laughs> go on and on and on. Oh I, my God, that is so I, I want to find out about the marriages, but I want to tell persons who we're talking to. We're talking to Xavier Murphy. He's a, um, the, the editor, chief editor, but founder of jamaicans.com, the place where you guys are right now scrolling um, on Facebook. It started with this gentleman right here, okay? It started on a website. So he's giving us some background, a little bit about um, how he started and him telling us about the marriage part of that more year. <laughs> Fast out of people business, Leo. You don't need to know that. You don't need to know that. Well, well, it, it's it's um interesting. I mean, you had you had quite a few couples, four couples I know of that met on our forum. And understand this, the forum is totally a little different than social media where people use handles. Yes. So they're not using their real names real like name. you use on mm -hmm. Facebook. Right. But, you know, personalities get, you know, kind of figure each other out. And we had a thing we used to call, and this term is, again, dated a little bit, but we used to have what we call bashments. So oh. the folks in New York would get together um, and just say, we're all going to meet up. I guess you call it meetups. You know, yes, the, Ameri yes. the, 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 meet the, the proper term is meetups. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, you had um you had meetups in New York, you had meetups in Florida, you had meetups in Philadelphia. I think there was one in LA, your 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 town there. Mm -hmm. Uh you had meetups in Jamaica. So the folks would, you know, say, We're gonna gather at this restaurant or this place, and we're gonna meet up there. In Canada, you had a meetup. In London, you had a meetup with a big following in Canada. Yes. And so the folks met up there and there, there are some good, you know, some marriages that came Good, good out. stuff, good uh, stuff come yes, out of it. <laughs> yes. so I, I mean, I wasn't even aware of some of them till later in life. And yes. in fact, when we celebrated 20 years ago, we did a video. And one of the couples that are, are married, um, they did talk about it in the, in the video um, about the marriage. So yeah, people met and... <laughs> You know, I did what people did. <laughs> oh me, my gosh, that's let amazing. Me, let me so recognize you had a, some a persons. Date inside going on. You didn't even realize you were doing it. Good for you. <laughs> let me recognize some people here uh, who have joined us. Um, Newford Luke, good morning to you. Pauline Ferguson. Marcia James says, big up New York, New Jersey. Stephen Patterson, good morning to you. Patricia Dawson, say, Saeed Sakaweth, uh, Hussein Shab Shabazi. Patrick Mandaboro, uh, good morning to you. Mark Delfors, uh, no, Delfosse. Delfos, good morning. Delfos, yeah, Mark Delfos. Delfos. Okay. Joseph yeah. Bern Burned, Robin Carroll, good morning. Dorrit Beckford, good morning. She says from Minnesota, Lord of All Mercy. Right. Um, and there's a community there. There's a I'm Jamaican telling you. community there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I went to Minnesota back about, when was it? In 1985. And I went there in the middle of winter. And when the plane landed, I couldn't recognize nothing. And New York, I come from it up. 
<laughs> when the plane landed, I couldn't recognize nothing because everything was just pure white from the top <laughs> of the building down to everything was white. It's like, I, that was that was strange for me. Carly Lewis, good morning. Uh, Batista Dos Santos, good morning. Trisha Oh, Chin, Batista, good how you doing? Yes, I go Batista. Check. Yeah, I can't. Cheryl Walters, Malcolm, Anthony Michael Francis, you know these guys, right? Yeah, I know Cheryl. All right, Kyle Keegan Wright, good morning. Uh, Dorrit uh, Beckford, Tristan Stewart, Marvin Peart, good morning. Roger, Roger Williams, Dahlia Fife, Audrey Bailey, good morning to you, Marva. Marvius Brown Cook, what a long name, Jays of Bees. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Josie Ziadi, good morning to you. Says good yes, morning, Mr. everyone. Zaydi, Chris, I yes. Chris. Respect, respect. Uh, he says, um, uh, please keep safe and sanitize. Don't drink the sanitizer. The, the sanitizer. <laughs> okay. Don't drink the, 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 the sanitizer. Sean Henry, good morning. Camille Prawl, Patway, good morning. Elvis Bailey Russell, good morning. Carol Rickett, D May, Angela Dawkins, Ryder, Stone Love. Glory, Grant Harriet. Am I sure that you know all of these people here? Uh, uh, yes, there's quite a few names they call you, I know. And, and uh, thank you for joining and, and thank you for your support. Really, thank you for your support. Respect, well, respect. So, <laughs> you know, one thing, veer a, a little bit away from, um, from the, the, the website. Yeah, man. Do you know this song? <clears throat> when I was just a little laddie. <laughs> <laughs> My father bought a figle for me. <laughs> and the only tune that oh. I could play. <laughs> yes, sir. The only Play tune that I could, I could play. play. Yeah. Right me down. Did you know there was a dance for it? Did you know oh, that? I, I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I saw you write it. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that song was done by Xavier's father. So Xavier's from the music. It's, it's coming really? Down from, yes. That's amazing. Yes, the tenors. Yes, yes, so the tenors. His name is Xavier Tenor Murphy. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> I leave the tenors to the tenors. I can't, I can't sing. I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh and it's God. funny i'm in my office i'm looking for something here because there was there was a a record he did oh is that right? 45 hey. that he put my picture on the label of the 45 oh is that and right I, I oh, oh you have some good memories there boy yes that yes. is pretty cool yes yes so you know it's funny yesterday I was talking to him yesterday, my dad yesterday, and a gentleman had reached out to him. Um, you'll be hearing more about this on Jamaicans.com. It's a, 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 tele, a telethon uh, that's, uh, that's going to be done based here in the United States to, to support Jamaica and the healthcare workers in Jamaica. But he told my dad, he said, listen, I'm a collector. Where can I get the, the 45 with a little boy on it? <laughs> 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 uh, hey, maybe that's why you can't find it in their office right now. No, no, no. He gave it. To me. I just needed to frame it, and it's, it's, it's. I've been looking for a frame, and that's one of the, the challenges. I, uh, you know, I've been looking for a frame to put it in. So All eventually, right. it will be framed. <laughs> so, so Xavier, there is a yeah. difference between the Jamaicans.com website and Jamaicans.com Facebook. So. Right. Yeah. Well, yes, but a lot of the content, there's a lot of synergy. You know, uh, we do do quite a few live shows here. You are a pioneer. Let me let me first big you up, and you know, uh, uh, sure that I've heard great things about you. Also, I I may not have met you in person, but you know, uh, Leo has always uh, looked for a host, and he thinks he has found the perfect one. I think. I did. And, um, but, you know, Leo has been a pioneer on, on our platform, our Facebook platform, as one of the first uh, broadcasters here. Um, so I want to, to, to big you up on that. You have quite a following. I remember one day uh, um, I was at an event 
And I said, um, and I was just walking around kind of filming the event and say, you know, let me kind of give the folks on Facebook Live a, a look at this event. And then I saw Leon, I put it on Leon and it instantly, the viewers went from one well, little bit to a whole. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been quite a, a, a following. So congratulations on that, Leo. No um, man, this, 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 this site, this, this page has done great, great things. I mean, you, and, and the good thing about this page is that you don't get no look of flour, flour, nothing upon this. You're getting the real deal. It's, it's facts. It's, it's facts and figures and the real deal. Opinions, yes, but facts, the truth of, of, uh, of advertising, the truth of, of news, the truth about everything. So you don't, you don't have to think that this is gonna, you're gonna see no look of flour, flour, nothing. I'm, I'm very right. appreciative of, this, of the quality of this, 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 uh, this page. Yeah, anyway, thank, well, thank you. Thank you. You know, and so we, we try, as I say, to, to, to keep a balance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are not really news. We're not really um, way on the other extent of just funny stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we try to keep a balance um, so that people can live a balanced life. You know, we're, we're inundated with news constantly. And, and so we try and keep a balance with the recipes, with the funny stories, with the heart, you know, the heartbreaking, not heartbreaking, but heart wrenching stories and, and so on, so that we, we keep a balance with everything mm -hmm. that we do. And, and that's one of the things that we are, we're really proud of. Um, we have a team. It's not just me. It might look like, hey, I'm the head cook and bottle washer, but we have a team. Leo is a part, part of the team. We have, you know, we have other broadcasters, we have writers. We have a team that takes care of social, social media. And there's always opportunities. If there's a young person out there or someone out there that's looking for an opportunity, you know, for exposure or something like that, just reach out to us and, and we talk. We're, we're quite open, you know, very flexible. I love to see, one of the things I love to see, I love to see people branch out, spread their wings and fly. That's yes. what I love to see. <laughs> I remember the first day I came on back in 2015 or something like that. I don't remember what year. And, and you said to me, Leo, at any point in time, you ready to fly, you have your wings, right? Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes the, the, the best way to keep people is to tell them to fly, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to win. They're not going to win. No, uh, no, no. I, I, want to, I love to see people succeed. You know. <laughs> I love to see people succeed. You know. Yeah, it, it, and, and that's that's one of the things I like. It, I enjoyed seeing that. <laughs> so so you you actually birth a baby and watch it grow. Now you're up to all, I mean, it's like about 300,000 Jamaicans across the world that's, that's on this thing here. People who like it and people who just want follow. it to be a part. Follow, follow yeah, like yes. and follow. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, and that's, that's, a, that's a, a different, that's a story itself, you know. If you yes. look at our Facebook page, you'll see 140 people like yes. and 100, and, I think it's 160,000. 160,000. Follow, that's right? Follow. Uh, I don't know why they never like it. <laughs> <laughs> because, because they're following it. That means they're getting the alerts anyway. That's, right. <laughs> right? that's exactly right. They're getting alerts when they follow. Yeah, but, uh, yeah it's, a, it's been a, a, a good platform. Uh, we have quite a few also on Instagram. Right. And we have been doing some Instagram live. Yes. Um, we have up 71,000 on Instagram. And a um, couple lives have been on there, a couple live streams. We have done a couple on there and we'll continue to do that next Friday. I believe we'll have a, um, uh, you haven't seen this yet, but you'll see this posted on the timeline eventually, a young lady um, teaching you how to make a quarantine kit. <clears throat> She's from Jamaica. Okay. Um, yesterday we had a young lady from Jamaica that um, she lives near a river and she took us down by a river in Clarendon <laughs> which, 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 which Clarendon is near and dear to my heart. My, my, my mom is from a place called Tweetside in yeah! Clarendon. Not, and, not Christiana. Yeah. So, so we up, we up in the booth. Half, half, half the people on this timeline will probably not know 
Tweed side in Clarendon. Oh, I know Tweed side. I know it's close enough to Manchester, close enough to Cristiano. Good. Good. And, I, and we had relatives in Manchester too, but I have spent. Of course some, you do. Who, do, who you does know? not? Perhaps just you. So I, uh, she took us down to a river there and it brought back memories for me because I spent my, my parents would ship me, my brother and I down to the country for summers. So I may be a, a, a Portmore town guy, but <laughs> I know the country life. I know <laughs> when, when, when them tell us, listen, them challenge the town man and you must eat a whole breadfruit. <laughs> what? <laughs> with, 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 and, and, and butter. so you can do this. Hold on. There's no salt fish. Exactly. So you're going to take a little oil and put some salt in the oil. And yes. The in the pot. Now, in the that's egg. right. <laughs> because you can't eat breadfruit without little oil pan it enough. Because you, oh, you, you will choke you even stop, with the oil. Stop it quickly. Choke. So what, what you have to do. I would tell anybody is, to take is on take, that. That is dangerous stuff. You have to take the salt and sprinkle it in the side in the breadfruit and then put some oil in it. And just dabble it around, right? Exactly. And so that exactly. way, go down, it just go down easy. You can yes. eat six, seven bread. No, me eat what four bread food one time already. No, 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 Leo, no, Leo, no. They must have I been mean, tiny. Don't no, talk to me, no, 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 no. I had, I had four bread fruit one time. Uh, we sat down. We cooked two of Trevor's cook about twelve bread fruit on a fire right here in the open. I mean, and it was listen, food in you know, my days was was like the king of anything that you can have in a, your, in a, your person. Food. Where we come from, food is king. And you, mm. you compete to see who can eat the most. That's well, it. They used, to, they used to try and compete because the countryman want to beat the town man, right? No! So, so they, they used to do some things to us. My cousin and, and his friends down in Tweetside used to do some, some things to us. Boy, I'm telling you, there was, there was challenge. And then the one other good memory is, you know, the fried over boiled dumpling. So you get the oh, dumpling. Yes. You get your dumpling in the in the morning, right? And my grandmother only cooked twice for the day. She cooked breakfast and dinner. Fend for yourself for lunch, right? <laughs> and when you get that, when you get that um boiled dumpling, you save it because you yeah, oh. make sure you split him. Yeah, and cut, fry it, him cut it in half. Yeah, cut it in yes. half and fry him because <laughs> You know, so uh, uh, that, that, that uh, country uh, what are what are you don't get that. At, you don't get that at Kingston, right? You don't get no. Well, the, well, yeah, the, no, you learn them things at. You learn them country. You learn them things at country. That's how you learn. That's how you learn some of them things. Maybe we, we had breadfruit. We, we, you know, we didn't have saltfish, but we had aki in our country. So we also had a, bo a pot, a pot boiling with aki, because we don't have no breadfruit. We just throw salt on it and then put it in the middle of the breadfruit and. Right. Like sandwich, really. Yeah, what it's, uh, right. You know the right. thing. Yeah, you get little. You get little country life. These are oh, these. No, I know my country life. We spent. I said I spent summers in the country. It wasn't <laughs> until one summer, though. Story here now. It wasn't until one summer. Every auntie and uncle, it, it seems, sent their relative, my my cousins, yeah. down to my grandmother one year. Yeah. And there was about, and I mean, you're talking just a two a two bedroom house with an outdoor toilet, you know, where that's another story within itself. We call it latrine, sorry. We call you it know? latrine, yes. The, okay. board, the board toilet where the roach. That is exactly where the roach. Yes. You're on the roach, you're on the roach, I fight for use it. Ah! You're on the roach, I fight for use it. But the, the, um, all my cousins were down there and my grandmother said, and we gave so much trouble so much trouble at that time and i'm talking maybe about eight nine nine of us in, in and there's just two bedrooms there and we keep her up all night and all sorts of madness and my grandmother said nobody is to come back and that was the end of that uh, uh, summer, summer <laughs> really? in the country <laughs> really yeah, well, I, she yeah, kept yeah. to it you guys weren't uh, allowed to come back oh so let's talk about the latrine Let's talk about the fight with the cockroach. How do you get rid of the cockroach, Xavier? Let's see if you're in the country. I I don't remember what we Okay, let me tell you. Get rid of the You light a piece of you light a piece of um paper, newspaper, and you right. push it down into the hole, and they all scatter scuttle down, down, down to the bottom. Okay. <laughs> and then it gives you about 15 minutes to finish what you're doing. 
this this conversation is going so too fast. Bring it back up. Elevate it, please. It, come on. Xavier, oh elevate it. Dude, don't leave uh, it to Leo. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I won't, we won't get into the chimney thing. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Anna, I think people want to say I, I, I'm going to find what people are saying here on, on Jamaicans.com let me see if there are people just dying here um, eh, Xavier <laughs> have a free cause, okay Albert Lewis he says he wants you to frame that, frame that thing uh, we have Karthik Anchan Is that, did I pronounce that right Marine Rose Tull Good morning, Albert Lewis. Oh, Donna I see my Smith. cousin, my cousin from Tweetside. Oh, oh, um, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? So cool. David Reed. Oh, David, David Reed. Good morning, David. 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 <laughs> yes. That's my cousin. That's who used to, used to challenge me to eat a full breadfruit. Oh, I think he's saying that he used to win all the time. Oh, yes. Oh, Daphne, yes. Daphne Wright says, that kind of living, oh, oh, did I miss you? That kind of living is called in America, Homesteading, <laughs> oh, 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 Lord of mercy. It's become more popular in America now. They're using a uh, compost toilet in some, I don't know what a compost toilet is. What is oh, that? It is when they put, they use everything in, okay, let's not go there. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Just simply scratch, eat scratch, something, scratch, you don't have to scratch, go next to it. Oh uh, yeah, scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go back into the toilet business. No. So, <laughs> so Xavier, <laughs> Um, I know that you are connecting a lot of people across the world with a lot of Jamaicans, and it's really good to see how people are just signing up, signing up. And it's because of the richness of the culture of, of Jamaicans that come on Facebook and also on the website, why people are gravitating. It's really, it's growing really, really fast, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll say that. I'll say this, for this month, um, I've, I've never seen this figure before we had on the website itself, and I know it's because people are, are, are at home. Yes, yes. We had 1 million page it's, views on the website. That is beautiful. Congrats, Amazing. that's awesome. Amazing. 1 million. And um, I mean, our culture is rich. I mean, there's, you can't, I, I love to travel, you know, for some folks, it's the nice big car. Leo would tell you, I drive a little old box car. Um, people always look at me and say, well, what kind of car that you drive? I mean, you know, uh, my thing is travel. I love to travel. My wife and I love to travel. And we, when we travel, we travel with a Jamaica shirt. Yes. You tr always travel with a flag. Rep represent. You know, representing. We always do. And I can tell you, you know, anywhere in the world you go and you have a Jamaica flag or you, they know you're a Jamaican, you're instantly yeah. a VIP instantly yes. a yeah, right. a yes. VIP okay yes. Bob Marley you yes. see in both yeah. you know they instantly know you I'm talking anywhere China Africa anywhere we have been you know people are singly out I remember we went to a small town up in what is it Switzerland where sound of music where sound of music uh, my wife wanted to go in that country I don't remember no, no, what, no. Was, it, was it Switzerland or no 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 not Switzerland I'm trying to remember Innsbruck, uh, to... Inns, the town is called Innsbruck. It's a little town way up there where in the country where sound of music uh, and somebody oh. must can post this, post this on the, on the timeline there. Where Anybody know which, part, which country sound of music? I should and, and Please, but, please, please. But, but we went up in this little town and when we were there eating at a restaurant, we hear Bob Marley playing and everybody know the song. They're singing the song. <laughs> and the waiters and the waitress. I mean, we are, as I always say, we are a superpower. Austria. Somebody just post it. Austria. Austria. Great, yeah. Great, great. Dang it, right. I couldn't Thank think you. of it. I Thank you, Denise. Think of it. Denise. Denise, Denise. Ivadne. Thank you so much, Denise. You're bright. You're bright. Yeah, because it was going to drive me crazy hero. that I couldn't remember that. I'm so <laughs> shameful. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I can tell you, it, it, is, it is anywhere in the world that you go. We are, we are known. People want to know. And, you know, the other thing we need to realize as a culture, we, we really don't appreciate some of the things. You know, I, I had a friend th this weekend pass. 
uh, many of you don't know, um, was the anniversary of Bob Marley going to uh, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And for Zimbabwe's anniversary, um, or independence, I should say, Bob Marley came to perform. And I have a friend from Zimbabwe. And when he tells the story of how our music on a Sunday and a weekend liberated their minds, they may not have wow. been free back then because they were under uh, white rule and on, on some British colonialism, you know, uh, up until, this, you know, whenever the 70s, I believe, uh, the 70s actually. And when you hear this, my, this friend talk about how the, the music of Bob Marley, the music of Peter Tosh and the whalers and others were what freed their minds because no one could take away that music from them. These people are huge for them. I mean, we just see them as, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Huge for these people. You know, he, he was like, y'all don't know what this did. And then when Bob visited there and he tells me the story and he says, um, Prince Charles was in the same hotel as Bob. And he said, Prince Charles sent some of his folks and said, um, Bob, can you come up? I'd love to meet you. Can you come up to my hotel room? When the guys went down there, Bob, sent a message back and said, no, if you want to meet me, <laughs> you come to me. And, and, and when, when those folks at, um, in Zimbabwe heard this, they were like, it, this is just unbelievable. You know, he stood up to the, to, to, to the prince and said, you need to come down and meet me. And it, it just en empowered them even more. You know, so... Uh, I'm saying this, and I, I'm sorry if I went on too. No, no I'm not. Yes, this is love interesting it. stuff. Absolutely but, love it. But you know, when you you know, I hear these stories a lot, and we need to realize how strong our culture is, strong our music is, and and we're a super superpower in our in our own yes, in our own. Are. Yeah, we're yes. we're a, we're a well, superpower. Well, I'm, I'm, I must tell you this. I must tell you this that. Uh, Jam um, Xavier is Mr. Jamaica. Uh, we have some other people waiting on, right, Xavier? But um, J Xavier is Mr. Jamaica uh, at the 2016 Olympics. We had these parties around, right? <laughs> and 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 you know, in 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 in, um, in, in Kingston at halfway tree, they beat. The, the 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 duchy and the pan and all and thing that Xavier brought that with him to the <laughs> the, the, the party. Right, that's yes. right. So and, true. and it How made it, <laughs> it it made it onto it made it onto ABC News. Yes. Xavier so beating. Nice. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> that was yes. crazy. We love yes. we love Xavier. Xavier is 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 the is the, the heart and soul of Jamaica here in Southern, in Southern Florida. Uh, he's a that. great dancer. Listen, <laughs> I MC a, a, a part, a, a dance contest last, uh, last summer. No, it was December. <laughs> I was as ill, I was very sick coming out of, <laughs> out of um, uh, a, a pneumonia. And Xavier saw me in the crowd and bring the mic on to me and say, Leo, I am going to participate in this dance contest. <laughs> you have to take the mic. So I took the mic. And I did not know that Xavier could dance. Yeah, that man, yes, the music is in his bones. Oh my Ooh. God. If that woman did come and do a, um, we we'll call it again, penny wine, one cent yes. wine, yeah? dollar yes. wine. If she yes, ever come to this, this dollar wine song here, Xavier would have taken that thing all the way. <laughs> but this lady came and just knock him off with one wine. And it was really, really good. <laughs> What one wine can do. One wine, one wine can do. <laughs> Xavier, yeah. we have to go. We have three other people sit waiting on us. But thank you so much for joining, my friend. It was so nice. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you, Xavier. Good and meeting you. It. Come to Central Florida and let's have a dance off, okay? All right. Bring it and up to here all to all Central it. Florida. <laughs> and all we don't have enough Jamaicans. <laughs> oh no, I know, I know, I know you all have a, a good amount. And to all the viewers, all the people that continue to support Jamaicans.com, thank you, thank you, thank you. We support, we are at 25 years this December. Uh, just, just keep on sharing, keep on following us and, and, and send, send information to us. I mean, we're always open to that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Without our support and your support, we would not be here. 
Have a good Saturday, everyone. Stay safe, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, Sylvia. You have a good. wonderful day, man. All right. All right. Oh, my God. We have to, we have to clap him this one. Clap him! <laughs> <laughs> Xavier is crazy, but he's the nicest guy in the world. Uh, uh, Seems fair. like it. I love that. Come on, it, it, he's, he's fair. He's just he's, he's just one of those guys that you want to be a friend of. He's really good guy. Good balance. I love yes. that. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I mean, I could chat with him all day long. Jesus, and he can dance too. In, in dance, <laughs> in, in dance, but and he, and he play music good too. You know? I was yeah. listening to him last week. Yeah, and he play, he play, he's a really good DJ. Good morning, Stacy Henry, Mo Tom. Good morning, Melissa Wynn. Good morning. Gordon Harris, good morning. Robert Blackwood, Xavier, as such a, a, a go on him say. Sted, Stetson Perry, good morning. Andrew Williamson, Lisa Foster, Elaine Bruce, good morning. Latrice Coles, Leville, or Level, um, Leville. Uh, I, if I don't pronounce your name correctly, I'm so sorry. It's something like L E V I V E I L L E, Leville. Thank you, Latrice. Hubert um, Noisley. <laughs> Odyssey Blackwood, good morning. Cash Lamar, good morning. Julius Hines, good morning. K oh, we have some people online. Good yes, morning. We do. <laughs> I have someone with the all kind of Alaska thing. Look how she looks. I love it. Chase That's Alaska Queen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. And then we have one that a pretty one. They look like she's in New York. I don't know how she look cool. She look cool. She look warm. <laughs> look how she look warm. Good it's morning, the Jamaican Lizzie. blood. Jamaican blood. Ah, but the bad thing about this is that I have those two who are from um what a school the name again. Me don't want remember the name of the school. Immaculate. Jesus, I'm peace. Nobody <laughs> say it. Nobody say it. Nobody say it. She, but here's Sherry also. Sherry, do not tell me that you are from Immaculate. Of course. Jesus. Oh, Je <laughs> oh my God. I am swarmed. Oh my God. Look on that. You're so fortunate, Leo. You're so lucky. You have no I, idea. I, I must tell you that uh, once I find one, I find many. It's like my life is completely surrounded by immaculations. It's really bad. That's a blessing from the Lord. You need it. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. How are you? Morning. Morning, Leo. Doing well. Doing well. It's yeah. good to have you on. A long time to have you on, Leslie, and a long time to have you on, Prof. And it's <laughs> good to meet you, Sherry. I first may see you. Me hear your voice all the time. And <laughs> me like the work, what you do and stuff. And the first may I meet you. Thank you for, for joining. No problem. All right. Ah, so we are here this morning because... Um, there's some big things that go on in the diaspora and in Jamaica, uh, you know, in, in, in response to the COVID stress where we have COVID-19 stress that's going on because it's very, very stressful. Uh, these um, persons have come together and, and, have, um, and, and have done some wonderful things. And I want to take it from, from Prof. Let's, let's talk, a pro, talk to Prof, since you are the key in this. Tell us what's going on. Look how she put it now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, the, you know, the whole COVID thing has turned the whole world upside down. I think we all know that. Um, in Jamaica, it's been mixed, you know. Um, I think there is an appreciation of an approach to managing the crisis that initially I think all of us were um, felt comforted by, especially when we look around the rest of the world and we see what's happening. <laughs> And, um, but recently, of course, we've heard about the cases in the BPO, the business process outsourcing industry that has created um, some concern. But I think it, it very significantly, the reality of having lost your job, um, the having to close businesses, the uncertainty of the future is creating a lot of pressures. And we're feeling it literally every day in the Alaska Gin Foundation as the calls continue to come in for help. And it's, it's basic stuff. I mean, if, you're, if you've lost your income and you have a family, the first thing that you're challenged to do is to provide food for the family. Mm -hmm. And so that's beginning to happen. So we're, we're really seeing the calls. And so um, uh, a month ago, or you know, just as this thing started, 
we recognize that, you know, we are affiliated to a food company in Jamaica, um, the Lasco Distributor Limited, as well as Lasco Manufacturing Limited. They both fund our fund foundation. And so we created a framework in which we can leverage um, very affordable food from the company. We have partners, including, for example, Jamaica producers that have provided bananas for us and um, pineapples and so on. And, you know, these are relationships that we're building. Mm -hmm. So in addition to what we can provide at the, from LASCO, at the LASCO <coughs> Chin Foundation, we're able to partner with other organizations who can provide support. Importantly, we recognize that the farmers need to be supported at this time. It, it, this, if nothing else, this crisis throws up the challenge that we have with respect to food security. Um, we import so much food. And we, the truth is that we can feed ourselves, but we've locked ourselves into this kind of cycle of imports. And so we are partnering with farmers as well to ensure that you know, they can be supported during this period. And so we, in addition to the package of food items, personal items, household items, we also have fresh fruits and vegetables. So that's our initial response. And we were really, really very pleased to partner with JD Tan, um, among other organizations. We're working with the churches and others. And we truly believe that if we collaborate effectively, we have a better chance to making a difference and to reaching a larger pool of individuals. And so as we work through the collaborations, I think we, we find that we can fill gaps and we can be more effective in responding to this crisis. Uh, so, so you're partnering with uh, Jenny Tan and with uh, Yuja. Yuja, tell us what's the partnership about? Leslie Ann. So our partnership is about providing um, care packages to the schools. So we are starting with our member organizations. As you know, Yuja has 57 members. And, uh, but we support more, more schools than that because we have several organizations that support multiple schools. So it is probably closer to 65 or 70 schools that we actually support. So what we um, realized, of course, is that there are, there are many students who have their only meal when they come to school. So the thought was, well, okay, um, let us, let us, um, you know, we're going to follow back you. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, Leo, because uh -huh. what this idea of providing care packages makes really good sense. And it is uh, uh, doable, you know, yes. because of the size of the package that um, LCF has put together. So, you know, the one challenge that we here in the diaspora had, you know, we have the idea, we have the money, we have the wherewithal even to collect it. The challenge was how to distribute it. So guess what? There is a sister organization that Yuja has in Jamaica. Oh. Jamaica Alumni Association of High Schools. Yes. So they are, they are relatively new, but they actually it's came to me. J-A-A-H-S. Okay, yes. yes, yes. So their focus right now is just high schools, but you know, they have to start somewhere. Absolutely. But so they actually came to me to say, listen, Rena, we'd like to do something. I said, great, you can be our feet on the ground because we are going to need to have a way to actually distribute the care packages so okay. you can be that connection to the schools. So it's actually a three-way that we are doing yes. right now with the hope yes. actually of um, engaging Asia up in Canada, as well as the Florida team, and then ultimately UK. The challenge is there is, is, is how we collect, right. um, but yeah. we'll work through that. But Give the us, point you, is that- You're, you're, you're doing some, you're, you're throwing out some, um, some acronyms there. So yeah, I was just about to say, oh, if we sorry. could do that and introduce <laughs> properly, you know, yes, Professor thank Hamilton you very much. as well. Yeah, yeah. okay. Tell us so, yeah. Go ahead, Leo. Please. No, I wanted you to tell us. You're saying who, who are the other uh, organizations? You yes, yes. They yes. got the Jamaica one, right? So Alliance of Jamaican Alumni Associations, our sister organization in Canada. Okay. Actually, they are based out of Toronto. Right. Um, they are actually the same age as as you, jo, okay. Thirty-five. Oh, thir Thirty. Oh. Okay. Yes, they they have been around uh, as long as we have. Leslie, and, and can you also tell us what Yuja is? Oh my goodness. 
Oh, no, 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 why you just is? The people in the know, we might not know, but the people in the know. You know, it's so, so few people actually go, uh, say, ever say the name. They just say you, John. Like, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, UJA stands for Union of Jamaican Alumni Associations. Full name, USA Inc. All right. Yes. Um, we, we typically call ourselves the union. All right. Because it is inclusive. And that's kind of the point. Yes. Right. So if you are, if there's an alumni association for this, for a school in Jamaica, any kind of school, you can be a part of UJO. And each school only needs to join once. So although um, a school may have an alumni association in Jamaica, there's one in Florida, there's one in California, there's one in New York, there's one um, in Chicago. Once they join, they are a part. They're a part. That's good to hear. So that, you know, the idea is simply to have representation. You know, we're not trying to, it's not about growing numbers. It's about covering the spectrum of, of the schools in Jamaica. All right. Thank you so and much. If, if, I, if I may, um, Leo, just to add, I think this partnership is wonderful because the students are now being challenged because many of them, of course, are out of school and not sure when they'll get back. And so the challenge of the parents, not only to educate the kids, but to That's ensure true. that the kids are fed and so on on a regular basis is key. We One of the things we're doing in the Last Kitchen Foundation is supporting students in the um, grade seven of Clancati as part of a comprehensive program we're doing for at least youths. And in engaging them, we're recognizing the significance of a taking some burdens off the hands of the parents at this critical time. So if they don't, it's one less thing to think about because many are unemployed, um, they have to be homeschooling and it, it truly is challenging. So I really appreciate this partnership. And I think that um, we're already seeing, and I think Sherry can speak to the responses where other schools that may not be members are also reaching out for support. Good, Beautiful. thank you so much. Sherry Davis, good morning to you again. Mm -hmm. um, I kept you um, third, not last, but third, because you are the most important. Because right next to your name, I see JD Tan, Jamaica <laughs> Diaspora Task Force Action Network. So tell us, what have you been doing and how, how, have, how has this relationship uh, been going for you with uh, with, with uh, So this relationship has been a wonderful experience of partnering because everybody has been so focused on giving back and ensuring that needs are met. Um, it's great to be a part of an association between Yuja and Lasko Chin Foundation um, because everyone is working together to ensure how effectively, how efficiently, and how we can make sure that as funds come in, they get right to the families. Yes. Um, the partnership has been beneficial. We have seen responses. Yesterday was the first day that we fully launched our effort on the JD Tan side. Um, in addition to donations, we have seen a lot of requests from schools who are requesting um, to support some of the families that are being impacted. Right now, we have a couple from primary schools who are saying that those families are impacted as well. Also, some of the shut-in families like in Westmoreland, um, Little London is one area in particular. Um, so we are starting to see not only donations, but additional requests for service areas. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're trying to do is make sure everyone knows that we are donation-based. And so because of that, we want to make sure that as we get donations, we really would like to help, but we are bound by making sure we have donations so that we can support. Uh, one of the, well, I saw a letter from, uh, from a, a, a someone yesterday. I want to donate to my mother. I want my mother to get some of these baskets. So how, <laughs> how, how do you handle things like that? So what we're, what we're doing is redirecting people um, for individual cases. Uh, we will send them an email or phone. I've gotten a lot of phone calls as well, text messages, um, and just directing them to those organizations that can help them. Um, we recommend um, the local church, Food for the Poor, um, you know, just trying to get- Las Cochin Foundation. Yes. We <laughs> tried to, as a group, send out the same message so that everyone knows where to go. Um, there are some people, however, who are asking for help for certain areas and they're willing to donate larger amounts. And if that's the case, we are willing to work with them to partner them to figure out the distribution. 
And it's um, still not tell me how much it costs. How much, how much these donations cost? What is it that you're buying? What, what is it that is the people are going to pay for? Um, okay. For each family to support a family for a month, you know, where our goal is if you can do more than one month, that would be awesome. Six months would be great, but it's $25 per package. And the package not only has food items, but it does have some sanitary items as well. Um, so it's a great, great way to support. And you are telling them not to drink the sanitizers, right? The sanitizers, right? Yes. You are telling them that. Lysol is not going to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sherry, can you share with us, for example, it, it's $25 per package, right? What size family will that take care of and for what extent of time? Because I think it's important that everyone understand that this has to be sustainable, right? And support will be needed for some time. So we need to help as much as we can. Yeah. So the intent of the package is to supplement what you have, not take care of all your needs. I apologize for the animals in the back. <laughs> okay. But it'll include things like cornmeal, mackerel, um, mixed vegetables. You'll have tea mixes, some hot chocolate, powder milk. There'll be multivitamins. Now, this mixture will change, but the value will remain around the 25 US dollar range. Um, there will be a mix of fresh, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables as well. Um, soap, toothpaste, cleaner. So it's a variety of products and um, we make sure that if you, when you go to the site, all those are listed so that you can have an idea. You may not get the same item each time, but it will be of that $25 value. So okay, we'll and that $25, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry, that $25 will take care of how many persons three in a family for what time family. period are we thinking? Yeah, three to right. four people in a family and the, the goal is it will last you about a month. Okay. Right? Um, supplement uh, prof, what they're doing for a month. Just prof, yeah. It's a supplement, it's Thank not you. It's not a direct it's not feeding a program. Not feeding. I know, I know. I just want people to understand that, hey, we have got to keep this going because supplement yeah. or not, their needed items. Yes. Prof, you are uh, your, your, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's important to say that some items like supplements and other items could last for a month, others, of course, of shorter duration. Um, right. But typically, we think that a family of two or three could last, could get enough food for a few days, up to a week yes. Yes. in terms of food items, but other items could last for the month. Pro, um, Prof, right. while you're there, um, you, are you suggesting uh, that we don't just buy 25, that one, one pack, right? Buy, buy for six months. If you can't afford it, buy it three months worth or four months worth. And, you know, and the person, can they pay for all of it up, up front one time and then you'll deliver it over the three month period or the four month period? Quite so. When you go online, you have that option, you know, whether you want to do it on a monthly basis or you can do several packages. If you wanted to do four packages for $100, then, you know, that kind of thing. Those options are available. Um, and, and Leslie Ann, what, what about the, um, the website that they need to, are, are you guys have all different websites? The link, just one. right. The link. What, what is that link? Okay, so know? through the Last Coaching Foundation website, we our fiscal sponsor is the Friends of American Friends of Jamaica, AFJ. And so we link you directly there. And therefore, if you want a tax exemption, it's a 501 3C organization, you can get that. In the case of Leslie Ann's organization, the alumni members can go straight to her website and make the donations there. And then for you, Sh Sh uh, Sherry? For us, you will go to COVID care package at jd10.org. On it, it will have um, not only the link, but it will provide you information of what's in the package. It'll explain a little bit about the strategy that we're doing for targeting our, the people that we're helping. Um, so, and it also has contact information if you have any questions. So again, it's COVID care package at jd10.org. Leslie, and oh, oh, um, oh, is your response or the response from your alumni association associations? It always hasn't actually been launched yet, you know, okay. um, Leo, because um, we're actually dealing <laughs> dealing with some other challenges here in, in the U.S. as well concerning okay. some students. So um, we are we are we are 
uh, uh, trying to, to not um, beat up our alumni association too much <laughs> um, as yet. So our ours actually won't launch until next weekend because we knew that you guys, uh, JD Tan was launching this weekend, really yes. didn't want to compete, kind of wanted okay. to give that one a chance to, to, to go forward. So ours yes. is not coming until next weekend. Um, but we are always will be very similar, um, going to the user website and 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 doing you know just like we do for education summit you absolutely, know registration absolutely. very simple yes. same kind of kind of thing and then on the back end we um work with um lcf and jhs to for, for distribution yeah. are you a okay. partner and, and Leo, we can provide links to all of these um organizations yeah, man, we will. on we facebook will. as well so people can you know yes prof um yes. about partners um I know that. Well, you, hold on a second. Before you answer that, can we say who Prof is? Because not, I mean, Prof is very popular, oh, but I, I think it's important didn't that I, everyone knows didn't that I say this is Professor, Professor Rosalie this is Hamilton, Yo, the Lord chairwoman of, of the Last uh, Chin Foundation, uh, among many other things. Oh my God. I, I didn't yes. introduce you. I introduced you as Prof. That's it, uh, right? Rosalie Hamilton. Lord of mercy. <laughs> but then, no. Yes. Um, any other partners? Yes, uh, we have been uh, working with some foundations in Jamaica. Sanders Foundation, JWN's Foundation have provided great support for us. In fact, it's important to say that we're not just Kingston based. Um, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of persons are talking about that in collaboration with the JWN Foundation. We're in Clarendon, um, New Yarmouth and St. Elizabeth. We also partnered with the TEF, the Ministry of Tourism. And in fact, um, through them, we're in the North Coast areas, um, all the way to um, Negril and, you know, Trelawney, Montego Bay, Ocho Rios. And so we have national coverage through our partners and collaborations. Very important because we know that the, our foundation alone cannot do it all. So you, we have forged those relationships. We see the church as playing an important role. And so we're working with the network of churches, the Operation Save Jamaica. We're also working directly with Bishop Edwards from um, the, the Lighthouse Ministry in uh, St. Catherine. And uh, they do, for example, soup kitchens and pro providing food directly to persons. And we've been supporting that effort. Um, and we also have been working with a number of smaller organizations. I know Cherie is very concerned about the special needs um, individuals who are not able to um, adjust and, and, and deal with the situation in which mo most of us can. So we have been working with some special needs, the schools, as well as through the police, um, the um, Special Olympics were, members were supported and a number of other organizations that we're able to partner with. What so, you're saying, uh, this is a big thing. This is a big yes. thing. That's what yes, you're saying. Yes, yes, of course, <laughs> the Joy Town community organization. We're working with hairdressers. You know, you know, we're working with a number of organizations. The domestic helpers are a group that we are going to reach out to and work with. The craft producers and, tr and traders and producers in the North wow. Coast were directly affected. We're working with them. And importantly, a group that we have mentioned is the young entrepreneurs, because this is a very, very difficult time for people in business. And so we continue to support young entrepreneurs, especially those who are at risk in vulnerable communities. We're very concerned about the extent to which all of the stress and pressure and inability to find the basic um, necessity of, of life exacerbates our crime and violence problem we have. We're very concerned about that. Yes, yes, so I'm, can, sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I'm just saying, you know, if we can tackle some of these basic issues, I think that we can stem what could be a very ugly situation if we internalize the stresses and get violence and so on. Um, and to yeah, I agree, situation. Professor. Yeah, and you see, this is why it's so important to see for the world to see and all Jamaicans who are not home to see every Jamaican organization. Just think about everything that you just mentioned, Prof everybody's on board, everybody's trying to help each other. So we can help. If we can help in any way, shape or form, just keep it going, keep it going. Make it be something that you're concerned. This is my bill, this is something I have to do. Because Jamaicans back home aren't sitting down and waiting for handouts. They're doing everything they can. 
but they're going to need our support. So it's important that we all just consistently think of our Jamaicans back home and help our brothers and sisters get through this. Leslie Ann, good you job, in, guys. You are, you are in the middle of the of the zone that that place where they call the ground zero of of um, or, or the central COVID. area for COVID, right? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what have your of Union of Jamaica Alumni Association been doing? Can they do anything physical on the ground? Are they doing anything? And, and, and if, if you can tell us what they are. You know, um, we, we, have, <laughs> we have really just been trying to keep our members safe. I got to tell you <laughs> you know, true. that has been, <clears throat> uh, you know, Jamaicans are very proud people, you know. So yes. when when the work disappear, you know, the, so you know, we, we never have one job, right? We always have yes. two and three and so. So yes. when 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 times are difficult, it's not something we're going to jump up on the rooftop and shout out. Absolutely. So we have actually been spending a lot of time just kind of trying to connect with yes. everybody to yes. make sure everybody's okay. But um, you know, folks like um um Claudette Powell, who is, you know, very involved with the nurses, um, keeps us informed as to, to, to what can be done. And so we have been trying to help as much, much as we can there. Interestingly enough, um, we have also been working with uh, Dr. Karen Dunkley, who yes. is the Northeast representative for the uh, Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. And an interesting um, need that surfaced was for students who are in the US, okay, um, attending college. And then with the schools closing, suddenly um, had nowhere to go. So um, we had to find host families for, for many of them. And now they can't even go back home because of course the, our borders are closed. So we have been trying to provide stipends for some of these students to, to help, you know, get them through until they are actually can, can go back home. So, you know, um, there, there's lots of help um, going on out there, but again, you know, we, we're not shouting it out. Uh, we're right. simply trying that is important. to work yeah. um, through the consulate and, and through um, organizations like, like, like Dr. Dunkley to, in, instead of each of us trying to do one thing, kind of trying to put together, to yes. make sure that the, the broader need is met. Yes. So that's kind of the approach that we have been taking. This is so great. That's nice to hear. And, and um, Cherie, um, what's your plan with the Jamaica Diaspora Task Force Action Network from here for, forth? We will be continuing and making sure that we our efforts are sustained. It's not a one-time thing. We yeah. plan for at least six months to make sure that we are updating you on the progress. As donations come in, our plan is to ensure that everyone, one of the concerns, and especially in times like this, is making sure that the money you donate is going directly to where you, you need it to go. So our plan is over the next six months to not only continue to um, receive donations, but also ensure that we're letting the community know where, where those donations are going and the families that they're helping. One of the things we want to mention is because we do want it to be continuous, when you do go to the donation site, you don't have to donate all six months at once. You can select recurring and then have it you know automatically come out. Very similar, like you were saying, like a bill, it'll just come out automatically. So um, looking forward to helping. We'll make sure we have updates. We're doing little videos. Um, Dr. Duane Dice is a part of our team and he's, you know, he will be- I love that video, by the way. I love that video. And I didn't even know that he was that good. Jeez, I'm <laughs> Leo, you said that video, what video? Nobody else knows what you're talking I, about. I, I think that Kimon, Kimon, can you play the video somewhere? Jeez, I'm, Kimon. <laughs> I, I'm sure you're, you're hearing me. I, I really love that video. And I love the one that Prof, I saw one, I see him saying Prof, Professor Rosalia Hamilton <laughs> sent out earlier this week where um, she, she had this lady actually crying, uh, um, you know, and, and it really took my heart. So keep on, where are the man? Sure, sure. Yeah. I think funny, funny. Come you on. Know, you know, that, that video is very touching for all of us because that's a young woman who has had challenges um, just trying to support her child. And in spite of everything, she was homeless. She had all kinds of experiences of violence and it was very touching. Here's it. Thank you, Kimon. 
Yeah, I think we, we Kim will no doubt to show it after this one. <laughs> One thing we know about Jamaicans, we're resilient, we're hardworking, we have always risen to the occasion. We are our brother's keepers. We're overcomers. Over the past weeks, COVID-19 pandemic has seemed to shed some doubt on the strength of our people. One thing for sure, we have risen before like the phoenix from the ashes, and this time we'll be no different. The Jamaica Diaspora Task Force Action Network, JDTAN, is partnering with the Alaska Chain Foundation to bolster their COVID care kit distribution program. Kits are designed to help sustain the most vulnerable families in the most vulnerable areas and communities, providing sanitation products to help prevent further spread of the virus, food items, and the fresh produce in partnership with local farmers. Let us do our part and donate. Lad, that made me blood run cool. I tell you, proud. I am very proud. Um, Dwayne Dice, Dr. Dwayne Dice, you're good. Yeah, um, good come on. Job. But our goal is to make sure that in addition to that, we're doing things like that. Um, there, there's a website, we'll share it on our platforms, Leo will share it as well. And that's where we will be having the updates, you'll see additional videos, we'll make sure we do email blasts, we're going to try to reach people as much as possible. Right. Um, do you have Prof, um, Professor Rosalie Hamilton's video? <laughs> you can stop to suck your mouth and just say Rosalie. Right? Ah! Rosalie, no. <laughs> she has been introduced uh, now, so uh, no, uno, you can't uh, just use her name. Uno a cause it. A uno a cause it. A uno a cause it. A uno a cause it. Sure. Um, <laughs> if she doesn't show it anyway, I, I, we'll, we'll make sure that it gets out there. Yeah. Um, uh, but thank if, you. if if I could add, um, Leo, I know that um, there it is. Okay, there it is. There it is. Coming up now. Yes. All right. The audio. It's spinning. Some people don't even know where they might eat tomorrow. Just like I'm telling you, said the package I came here for, I'm very appreciated. This program definitely helped my baby. If it now nah, helped me three babies because I want to it, my baby where it I help, help my other babies them. So it's always helping. Because right now I go home and I'm without a package. I'm a son, them can eat out of it. The foundation, it no longer help my daughter, it help me. It helped me to know that hope is there, you can carry on, and a time to give up. So this is what I think for my child and my child, this foundation is doing a lot for her. This is the foundation, I think, giving me back a pull through because I, I was a breakdown person the other day. And when we say breakdown, traveling back and forth, so I have to be strong, I'm confident in myself because some things will come over the few months my way. I think if I focus on what I paid or whatever else I got, it not going to help me as a mentor that I don't like coming here and receiving what my baby has been granted. To try to stay focused for her and my other two boys. But no, just a few minutes I'm here, I feel a little alive. If the evil don't live the way, I feel like we live somewhere now. Yeah, if, if, if I may, um, you know, it's entitled more than just a package. 
because we think at this time it's not just about yeah, I'm not sure, but we just had a big development in the unfolding spygate investigations it's just been revealed that the justice I, department i think that's part of the youtube right um I, it's more than just a package you know that you could hear from this young woman that she is feeling loved she's feeling empowered you know, we talk to people, we encourage, and the, our target group, which is in the Mountain View area, um, and that schooling program that we're rolling out, as well as our young entrepreneurs, um, the care packages is just part of an ongoing set of interventions where we're providing support, we're seeking to empower and to motivate and to help people through this very tough period. We're also monitoring and making evaluations and adjusting our intervention as we go. So we have a COVID-19 questionnaire that we are rolling out right now. So we are get, collecting information and the data to monitor just how are people coping? What, what devices are they coming up with? Because it's not, uh, we can't continue to, 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 to give the fish. We also have to help people to fish even in this very, very tough time. So I, I want to make that point and also to say, because I know how difficult this is for all of us um, and we have to make our dollars stretch. That's what the Lasco Chin Foundation is trying to do, to take your dollar and to make it stretch, as we say in Jamaica, right? Um, every cent is going towards providing food and support for the persons that we're engaging in. Fortunately for our foundation, we have a company that can afford to sustain and to pick up the administrative and operational costs. So none of the funds go to support us. It goes fully, in fact, more than 100% because we add to what you give us to ensure that your dollar goes a long, long way. Coming up, coming up later, uh, it, just after, after the, um, this interview with these three uh, nice young ladies, uh, we have, you see that gentleman there sitting down there with him glasses. Him come from one place at Kingston named Vineyard Town. And his name is um, Jeffrey Anderson Gunter, actor Jeffrey Anderson Gunter. So he's coming up immediately after this. You know, can I say hi to him? To him. Him, not really, him, not, him not really a bad guy, you know. Hi, yeah. hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, uh, Sherry, uh, you, you got your last word, and also um, um, Leslie. So, just want to thank people in advance for your donations. No donation is too small. So, if you are unable to do the twenty-five, there is another option that says other amount. Feel free to do less. We understand that everyone is struggling, um, and this is tough times for everyone. So, don't feel like if you don't have twenty-five, it means you can't donate. Five, ten. Um, if everyone does that, we will get to the 25. And if it takes two to three people to support a family, that's still okay because it's still three to four people in a family that's getting help and support. So where to, where to donate again? Where? You're going to go to COVID care. Package. You remember. I don't think we have to spell it for everybody, but I'll say it's COVID care package at jdtan.org. So COVID care package at jdtan.org. Oh, you're, um, you're better than me. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> if there are people who prefer to call and just want to ask questions, 214-810-4037. All the information is also at that site. But One just you know, give as much as you can. We understand, but we just look forward to helping our families because they're all our families in Jamaica as much as possible. One more time for the number. 214-810-4037. Now I can't remember myself. Two one four eight one zero four zero three seven. You don't got it. Thank you, Elizabeth. Your your final word. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know I I am so encouraged by conversations like this. Uh, Sharon had said it earlier that we are all in this together, and and as Jamaicans we really do come together as one to support. Uh, each other and our country. You know, each of us kind of doing our little thing um, to help. I, I am really honored um, and humbled to be a part of not only JD Tan, but 
to be affiliated with LCF and all the really uh, substantive work that is happening there. I am proud to be a part of that, very much so. And of course, all of the members of my union, because you know, together we are a force. And that is, that is the goal, to make a difference, right? Mm -hmm. For each other and certainly for our people and our students and our schools. So thank you, Leo. Really appreciate being a part of this. Well, you know, so me love you a long time. I mean, I have blue, right? Yes. I, I am lovable, you know, me know. <laughs> <laughs> Those were beautiful and perfect, perfect words, Leslie. And they were perfect for the occasion and, and perfect to anyone and let encourage people. We're in this thing together. I love that. Oh. Thank you. you know, your, last yeah. word, your last word, Prof. Well, I, you know, coming out of all of this, my last word is Ubuntu. <laughs> we nice. are all interconnected. And if, if, no, if, if there's nothing else we understand from this period, it's that. And I must say, I truly, truly appreciate the way in which the diaspora J.D. Tan has responded to this crisis. Um, just yesterday, I was in a conversation and with some economists and we're saying we're much more, um, the, the capacity for the economy to rebound is going to turn less on tourism and mo much more on our diaspora in terms yes, of that yes. continuous support. And it is so true. I wanna particularly thank Sherry for stepping up to the place and to lead in this effort. Um, that was truly tremendous. She had to navigate a lot of waters to get us here. <laughs> and her le leadership. Well, 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 she went, what school she went to again? <laughs> <laughs> With the natural leadership of Immaculate Girls. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Leslie Ann is a um, testimony to that. <laughs> um, thanks again to Leslie Ann too, because you know, just wrapping the high schools, um, around this was very important. Leslie Ann, thank you so much. Of course, um, Shernet, um, members of the JD Tan team, um, Grethel, um, um, Bradford, and Gordon. Beverly Gordon. Very important work in helping us with our mental capacity to cope. So I want to really say thank you there. And of course, you, Leo, for you know taking charge and really making sure that all of this hangs together. Thank you so much. And we look forward to a mutually beneficial and long-term relationship. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here, with here. me this morning. One more. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with, uh, with us today. And we'll see you again soon, right? All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. What a wonderful morning so far. It's been great, isn't it? May I forget to say you the punish, Shernet. Oh, well, that's okay, man. Listen, we can all forget about everybody. Just give, give, give. Jamaica needs our love. These are <laughs> love and our comedy and our laughing and our money and everything. Uh, right, you have to put, sir? The, you have to put the money in a big ladder, right? The money has to be in a big ladder. Right? Right. Well, you know, it takes cash to care. I remember somebody uh, saying that a very long time ago. Uh, really does. Uh, if you really care about Jamaica, put the, put the cash where your money where your mouth put is. Put right? your money where your mouth is, please, at your heart. It's so uh, yeah. important. It doesn't, it's even a dollar, two, three, four, whatever. No matter we can't go hairdresser, right? Yes. We can't do a lot of things. So if you do have that income, please channel it back home. And it's such an opportunity to have organizations. We've got three wonderful organizations right now, partner with so many other organizations in Jamaica, just trying to make it work. So allow them to be your voice, please, and your hands and heart and help our fellow Jamaicans. I want to uh, say good morning to some of these guys that are online. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to say your names uh, as much as often as I want to. Uh, Olivia Campbell is a longtime musician person run Jamaica and across the diaspora. She know music better than me and me thinks I know music good. Good morning, Olivia. Fabio Mamani, good morning to you. Uh, Lorna Lard, good morning. Shelton Fitch, good morning. Gwyneth Simon and Teresa Carter, good morning. Beverly Brett, Sophia Ferguson, Christopher Archer, Beverly Smith, Tony Figueroa, Denise Francis, um, uh, let's see, Jamaicans.com, Stacy Hunt, good morning. Maurice Romero, good, good morning to you. Lorna Beck, so is it the email address or the website? <laughs> uh, I will, hey, Lorna, you know my email address. Just give me a link, all right? Dexter well, Sterling. No, it's important because I, let's just remind people, everything will be put on, yes, everywhere yes. On, on Facebook Live, so you can just let's click, follow click, us, click. Honey. 
Yeah, follow me. Absolutely. Yes, and uh, if you're on on our on our email, if you're not on our email list, send me an email and you get it on leogilling at gmail.com. Leogilling at gmail.com. Good morning, Dexter Sterling, Carshella Huey, Patricia Work um Wold Ring. Good morning to you. Anaction Latchman, good morning. Victor Alden, uh, Sharon Lakin, Stacy McGrowder Hill, good morning, Michael Andre Hill, Marie Gannon, Cynthia Wilson, Norma uh, Gowdy, and Lucy Flavian, uh, Don Wilson Roberts, Shabir Tavano Tavano. Yeah, just say good morning, everybody, now please. We have like a lovely gentleman waiting me for love, us. Me love calling people them name. We are we are we are we are about them for. I think the people them know them name. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank Hello. you for joining. Uh, you see that guy there? You, you see that man there? Uh, me know him long time. Now, 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 put me little thing. My condolences, sir. Uh, I apologize on behalf of, okay, never mind. Good morning, good morning, it's Jeffrey. Wonderful seeing you. Good Shernet, morning, Jeffrey. It's wonderful seeing you. Me don't know about nobody else, but Shernet, Jesus. it's wonderful seeing you. Jesus. Thank you so much. I just it's lovely to see you as I just well, sir. She, I just look good looking this morning. Make you ask, make you that. <laughs> She's a pleasant, pleasant surprise to what I was expecting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I aim to please. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey, and, you know, hey, you know, send me a look at day and I may better sleep half hour more. You know, uh, what, me, how early me get up. You, please, you know, I have no choice. <laughs> you know, I have no choice, okay? When me call you the last night late, it means you must come on this morning. That, that, that it means. <laughs> good, morning, good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning, good morning. How are you it's doing? It's so good to see you. How long time to see you now? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. We've been... Me left here, me left here California. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I must big up um the... the what is what's the, the, the name? J.D. Tan and JD Lasco for all the wonderful work they're doing. I mean, you know, it, at this time, it's so needed. So yes. big ups to them. Big ups yeah. to them. No respect. We, we, we want to first find out where you come from. Because we tell a big lie, like I say you come from yeah, Vineyard Town. But we know some of the country you come from. Because you, you can't chat so bad and come from Kingston. So why excuse, that excuse me. Yeah. What wrong with coming from country? What wrong with coming from Kingston? Me come from Jamaica. It encompasses everything and everybody. All right. So Amen. Saint, yes. So Saint Elizabeth is my um. What they call the red. Oh! People. The red people. Yes. Okay. So it's Saint yes. Elizabeth me, me heal from. All right. Right okay. next door to Manchester. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Vineyard Town and Rollington Town is where I hail from in Kingston. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, me never wrong. Me never too wrong. Me never, me never wrong. <laughs> well, Jeffrey, I noticed that you're not wearing the dread anymore. What's up? Talk, talk to me. You can use saw one long dread. I'll go. I'll be wrong. I'll go, wrong, wrong. I used to sit on my dreads. I had to exactly. put in my dreads. Yeah. But listen, time brings about a change. And the same way I was told to grow the dreads. I was told to cut them. Cut it up. <laughs> yes, the same way. All right. So, so I mean, I, my my dreads did not define who I was, okay. and neither did the opinions of people. So, right. I am living for me and the Lord, and there you go. There you go. I love there, it. I, I love, love it. That. Well said. Peace and peace. Well and said. You never, you never got you never got immaculate conception high school, right? Or Manchester. No, but I had some very lovely ladies that I used to escort. <laughs> at Immaculate, yes. <laughs> All my escortees, hello. <laughs> <laughs> she went to Manchester High. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Manchester High has a quite a, a good caliber of people coming out there. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. I also spent a year, my final year was at Woolmer's Girls. He didn't know that because then he would ban all Woolmerians. But yeah, yes. I would. I so if, would. <laughs> if we were together in Kingston at the time, I would have loved their sport. <gasps> so wait, in banning Woolmerians, why am I banning No, Wolmerians? I did not say that. I ban Manchesterian because every week he would ban Woolmerians. He'll ban Manchester. anything that I'm associated with. That's the bottom line. In bad mind. <laughs> A bad man from time. No worries, Shernet. 
<laughs> so Jeffrey, I saw that you you have a um, you. I mean, I've seen you in several movies over the years, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, but I saw a trailer recently. Uh, Kimon, are you there? Can you land that trailer for me so that I can talk a little bit about Arnold um, Caribbean Pizza Restaurant? And big up to Simone. Simone doing an excellent. She named Ki Ki Kim Ki Kim Kimon. Yes. Kimon. Big she up. Call, Kimon. She called you this morning, right? Yes, she called me this morning. We've been in touch. More than I can say for you. <laughs> hey, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is a trailer for you for Arnold's Caribbean restaurant. Pizza. Oh, no, it's pizza. Yeah. Arnold's Caribbean pizza. I don't know where we get that restaurant from. Uh, she, it's coming up. Uh, the people that look pretty, the one them Baka, Baka Jeff. They, they look nice. <laughs> you see? Bad mind is bad mind. No. I go kill him. I told you. I mean, what the hell is going on? The only person that can help him is that crazy lady, and she's not likely to walk through that door in a minute. No, you should have seen the Hollywood coming to just pick up some pizza. <laughs> Arnold's <laughs> Caribbean Pizza, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. on Flow One. <laughs> oh my God, Jeffrey, that looked like it's a sell-off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first show in the diaspora that yes. really features all Jamaican cast and all Jamaican cast. But it's okay. in the diaspora. This is not filming in Jamaica, it's filming in the diaspora. You see what I mean? You see our job working. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yes, God. Oh, that is filmed here in California. Oh, California of Jamaicans. The restaurant is in Chicago. But Jesus. Not yes, everything. But it's for Uno. Jamaica. <laughs> Who's the producer? Who's the producer? Bentley Kyle Evans and is the brainchild of Trenton Gums. Now, these guys, they worked on Martin and um, the Jamie Foxx show. And um, this, this uh, young man, what was his name? Um, well, the cast, first of all, is Judy Johnson, Mark Anthony Williams, and Courtney Nevers. They're the ones that work with me. Fabian Cook is- uh, Fabian! One of, Fabian, you know Fabian? No, very well, I love yeah. Fabian. Fabian is like the, one of the mainstay behind it. He does all the groundwork and I mean, he does the script. As a matter of fact, the, 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 the episode that we just saw, the trailer of, yeah, was um, a work of Fabian's. Fabian, he, isn't he the engineer for Bob Marley's son? Yes. Yes, yeah, for ZD, yeah, right? Fabian yeah. is a jack of all trades. Oh my God. And oh a master God. of all. Of yes. all. <laughs> in, in two, I remember in 2006, um, when I started out on radio, he, we were trying to, 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 to get online radio going from that time. And, yeah. and he was the master behind it. Really nice, Fabian. It's, it's good to hear. So tell us about um, what, what, where, where is this coming from? What, 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 spurred, what, what caused this, this, this to happen? Well, well, first of all, there is a need for our culture to be seen both here and abroad. Right, I mean, to to Jamaicans, we are abroad. <laughs> yes, that's true. true. But let's just say around the world, right? Yes, yes. So besides uh, Desmond, that was in Britain, there hasn't been anything. There's another, I think, Club Paradise or something that that's yes, done in a there was. But besides that, America hasn't produced anything culturally for the Caribbean right. in a while. You know, I mean, um, um, there were a few things hinted at, uh, and I was a part of quite a few other things, but they didn't last, and it, they weren't comedies. Right. So this is a nice slice of life, and the brainchild of Trent Gums, where, you know, he, he, he has um, Caribbean roots, Trinidad and Jamaica, oh. and he thought how wonderful it would be, you know, to have this thing, which is, a, 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 what do you want to call it? It's, 
it's it's something different. It's pizza with Caribbean toppings. I mean, <laughs> ackee and saltfish pizza, <laughs> oxtail pizza, rundown pizza. <laughs> and I've tried some of them and um, it works. It works it's like you're having all of this stuff with a dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> the flour makes yes. a dumpling, right? The yes. flour is the dumpling. You know. That's right. Uh, yes, because you know, with all of that, you can throw some pear on top of it and <laughs> it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You is definitely countryman because first of all, when you were introduced to me 25 years ago, you introduced to me as Kingstone and me, you know, me no say you no Kingstone and can chat and have them the kind of um we call it country life type experience on a chat board. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yes, the other day I I I, I ordered a, a pizza. It was yeah. um, a thin crust pizza, uh, you know, and and it has vegetable on it. And I had cooked some callalo and saltfish. I'm mean, gonna just take it and pour it all over. It tastes like dumpling and color look bad, bad, bad. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And then you know, the other thing is, if you're lactose intolerant, you you, you don't need the cheese for our uh, kind of pizza. You don't uh, need the cheese, you know, exactly because right. I can selfish with cheese pant up it. Nah, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> he's enough cheese. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing, man. Wonderful thing. You know, and and, and thank God for the responses that we've gotten so far all the islands really love it they really love oh, it oh lovely Thanks. so how many um it's it's been shown in jamaica right but you said all the other islands so or is it <coughs> possible to view it in other islands yeah man all the other the islands have been viewing it trinidad has i'm saying lucia antigua all the islands have been nice uh, because you see fl wherever flow broadcasts they gotcha. will get it you know, even okay. British Virgin Islands, they have it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So um, the show goes with the flow. You see, when I have our funny show, is when I have our funny show, she not look just pretty. She have little brain too. But quick, but quick. And, and thank God, because this <laughs> would be, yes, this would be all the way down if he did not have it. That's peace. Oh my God. <laughs> Me not turn and take this. <laughs> I'm not turning here. I'm not turning here and take this at all. You're sitting at all. down. So it's all right. You're sitting down. It's all right. <laughs> so, so when Jeff, did it start, though? When did the show start? The show actually started um, about two years ago. You know, okay. and um, it went through some incarnations, and then um, the interest came back, and new blood came in, and so. Um, about five episodes were ordered just to test the market. And this was from Cable and Wireless. And that's what we have. So the, the, the episodes that are, have aired and will be airing um, is, is the, I think we have two more left from the five episodes that- Oh, how did. are they going? How are the three that, 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 that aired? How do they, they do? Us, we, we started with the, it was a 200 market and we were in the teens when we showed the first one. And we went further up and we passed the teens. We're going into the single digits. Oh, you know? that's nice. That's so, nice so I mean, and with this, with this um, interview, you know, it will help to get the awareness out. And for folks who have flow, flow one, to tune in on Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, we have we have over three hundred thousand possibly people to, to, to watch it here on Jamaicans.com. So I'd love to be able to take it and put it on here. So to, you tell me uh, what kind of contract we we need to get into. You know. Well, we 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 have to talk with Flo. <laughs> we have to talk with Flo to see what can be done. I'm sure it will be an amenable. You know. So. Yeah. It's not a problem. You know, we have to go through this because yeah, well, you know, know. it's something that they believed in and they put their money in. So, you know, obviously they would have exclusivity. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. You know, going out. But, um, you know, I'm sure they'd be very, you know, keen. You know, I, I thought, I you know, I was talking to a Jamaican, I can work a thing on the side for you. And, and, I mean, that, that is not what Jamaicans do all the time anyway. No, Leo, <laughs> we Jamaicans don't do that. that what was that, Shona? We don't do that. No thing on the side. No, we don't do that. We do it the right way. Whichever way it works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bandula went out with this. Yeah? <laughs> That's not a topping for this pizza, Leo. Mm -mm, no Bandula. Not a, not a topping. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, 
anchovies, right? right? All right, thank you so much. Um, so, so Jeff, tell us a little bit about you. Um, you know, I, I know growing up as a boy, is a, you, you know, you used to have your grandmother, yes, so Christmas, you love your, your, your Christmas, and which part you used to go during, during Christmas time? What you used to do at Christmas? Well, listen, to have both the country and town influence, um, it was a rich boyhood, a rich boyhood. I didn't have a lot of toys. Um, my father believed in, you know, doing more chores than anything. So all my childhood, I had one tricycle. That was <laughs> one tricycle. I may keep that tricycle there till, I think, till me did turn 12. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Because it was the only thing I had. Listen, we used to go down to parade, right? And mm -hmm. Grand Market, Christmas Market. And we go early down there, man. And we buy up the nice clothes and thing. And we come back home. And my father would show me them. And then him say, all right, this is for when you... Oh, go. no, he did not. Yes, he did. Him take it and put it in the wardrobe, right? <laughs> we never had a special occasion. So oh. by the time fat, by the time five years later, come on and take out the clothes, them me yes. grow up, the pants. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's it's those you know, but listen, you know, it's 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 part of that culture, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, yes. And and growing up and you know, coming into myself, I now understand all of that and what was lacking and what my parents didn't know and all of that. So there's much forgiveness much camaraderie and you know here we are you know it's but lovely. but but christmas in jamaica i especially enjoyed the jankuno enjoy oh. jankuno you know and my favorite of course you know was actor boy because actor boy used to come and then him give a little shakespeare upon the street and you know i, I saw, don't know what actor boy is jeff what excuse me no actor i don't know what you. actor boy is actor boy is a character in jankuno Google Janko, no, I say more with the character. No, me, uncle, me, uncle, me, know, me know the devil, right? right. And the one with right. the arm. And, and, and then the one with the black face. And, you see and, the ones where him know, though. And the one, right. the one with the woman who were pregnant. Me know the one with the woman who were pregnant. And then me know <laughs> the man who played the greater, right? Chiki, chiki, yes, chiki, chiki. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and the fee, and the fee, 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 fee we call that five, man. Me right. no, 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 no. You, don't, you, you don't know the horse head, you know, like, you don't know. Oh, no. yes, me know the horse head too. You're in front of that one there. And the time. goat, man. Listen, go online and see all the characters in um in Jankuno. And Actor Boy is one of the main ones. Because him was the one who had come and very stush and, and have language. Oh, and, is that right? Oh, yes, my God. Man. He used to pause, he used to come wrong, and he used to stop, and he used to, now is the winter of our discontent, maybe. <laughs> And we used to stand up and look on him. It's like, what, what kind of words that come out of this young man's mouth? And what do you <laughs> tell him I say? <laughs> I, I didn't, I, no, I never hear that one there. I've yeah, I, I yeah. never seen yeah. Actor Boy. I, what, isn't there a play by that name, Actor Boy? Or no, actually, there's an, an award in Jamaica. Is there an award? The, yeah, for the talent in Jamaica called the Actor Boys. Oh, wow. The Actor Boy Award, yeah. And, um, um, um but you needed to win that. You know, that, well, you, that. you were in Jankuno, so you, you were, you needed to win that. You win that, don't What? Actor Boy? Actor Boy Award, yeah. Yeah, man, as a matter of fact, I did um, a show with Leone and Charles Hyatt, and they won. Oh. They won actor boy and stuff. Yeah, man. And, okay. and you know, miss them people. Miss them people. Love so, Leone. Leone is like, me, 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 I know. Me, me dopes. I know, I know. I, and, and you have starred in several shows. Can, can you remind us? Can me, the, the one I remember good is the 1991, I think it's 91 or 92, with um, Stephen... Tell me, her. Death, you know, death. movies or TV? Mark for Death. I know Mark that you were death. in Union yes. Square. You were in Union Square. In the movies, yeah, you, you were Union in Square Mark for Death. Uh -huh. And what other one? It was TV. Yes. Right. And that's with, with, with um, um, forget right now. But but all the television stuff, more all the daytime soap operas. Soap again. operas, yes. All the daytime soap operas, and then my series were Union Square and Hudson Street with Hudson Street. Dancer, yes. and um, guest starred on a host of things that were going on at the time. Yes. Yes. And um, right now, online, if you Google um, 
Easter Sunday 2020, you'll see the, the, the current film that I have called Revival where Shaka Khan plays my wife. I play King Herod and she's Herodias. And you can't angle Shaka Khan, I'm sorry. You can't angle Shaka Khan. Excuse me, I have handled and we have moved on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and you, you so know much. what? You just handled Leo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we're proud of you. We're proud of you, bad, bad, bad. Very much uh, so, very yes, proud of you. Blessing, yeah. blessing, blessing. Listen, I am living what I know Louise Bennett lived. She lived for her craft. She lived for her, her passion. You know, yeah. I haven't had a nine to five job in 55 years. And that's a blessing to me. Nobody, I'm yeah. a millionaire and all them kind of thing, but I am where I need to be in this life. And thank God for it, especially in this coronavirus uh, period right now. I mean, yeah. since you were born 55 years ago, you have not worked. Is that what you say? <laughs> ago? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're so astute. You're so astute. <laughs> but you know, I, I think, yeah, he could be right because when you love something, yes, you will not it be is. working at it. No matter what, you know, how hard it is, you're yes. loving it, it's not work. So That's, he actually did say something smart. He just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, I, when I, um, I'm with my students, I let them know. Well, first of all, I ask them if this is what you want to die doing. And that seems a very macabre question. But it means it needs to be your passion that you okay. won't go anywhere. As it's not a hobby. Because you can't come into this thing and treat it like a hobby. You're wasting your time. Tell us if about your passion, student. If you what do you mean by your student? What do you exactly. mean by your student? Huh? What do you teach? Who do you teach? Oh, the, I'm with some incarcerated kids here in um, Lancaster. They are uh, youth from 15 to 19, gang members. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm there to give them a different point of view, show them all the things they can do with themselves that they don't really need a lot to produce if it's coming from within. And the first thing they need to do is find out what they have. Mm -hmm. And from there, then you can make choices, you know, because you know what you have. You have a pool of stuff to choose from, yes. you know, and, and that's my task. And, you know, I'm, I miss them dearly because of this virus. I, I haven't seen them in weeks. Yes, I know. I, it's, so, it's so tough on us. <laughs> it's a different, different type of life that we're living right now. Yes, but, but you know, Leo, like, you, you know how Christ went through his journey and all of that stuff was ordained and Christianity came about? I am feeling the same way about what's happening. It's a shame that people had to die for it to become what it is going to become. So true. But we need to get back to basics, boss. We needed to get back to looking at one another in the eye and talking and relating and loving and caring and giving and taking because we were all on the implements. We were all on the phones and, and, and on the computers and nobody was reaching out to anybody else except on those things. Those things are so impersonal. You know what I mean? It's not the same as a hug. It's not the same as looking in somebody's face and say, I care what happens to you. You know, mm -hmm. so we needed to come back to basics, to come back to the herbs of the field that we know is capable of taking care of us because the good Lord gave us everything that we needed to take care of what we are and to take care of this earth. But we went so far away from it, you know, that it took this mess for everybody to come back. All of a sudden people are calling and finding oh, yeah. all of a sudden people are at home Husbands are seeing wives and they're talking and communicating and so forth. So the silver lining for me is that, you know, it's a devastating uh, uh, thing, this pandemic. But the silver lining for me is that we have to take another attitude when it's over. Well someone said, is, absolutely well said. I love said. that, love that. I have, a, I have someone here um, uh, reminding me of the name of the actor in Mark for that. His name is Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> Peter yes. Swan. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> yes, oh, my God. We have to be very careful. There are purists out there 
that will check us. So we have to be very careful. You have to be very <laughs> It's true. But you know what you just said is so important, Jeff, because yes. right now, families, um, children and parents are stuck at home and they have to find ways how to relate to each other because yeah. once, you know, once upon a two months ago, once yeah. upon a three months ago, they were out to school, playing on their computers, uh, working, and all they had time for was to come home and throw something on the fire, eat and go, go to bed. But now yes, you are forced to be inside the house. You are forced to take care of the person next to you and yes. be a mother and be a father and be a child. Exactly. Right? And the, the thing is, the, one of the main things that was missing for me is that there are parents today that don't know how to parent. Yes. yes. They needed parenting classes. Yes. Because a lot of them, I mean, traditionally <laughs> from our culture, you know, you as a child, you sit down and you listen and you do what I say. You understand? We're in a different time, a different era. We need to listen to our children because they have information that will help us become better in our relationships with them. We need to listen to, to, and hear when our children speak because it's not foolishness all the time. And then they have to go sit down because you say so. You know what I mean? Somebody who comes and asks, Hi, Daddy, you need to have an answer for them. You know, because because I say so is not enough. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. And then you will get somebody who is a robot and, and under the, the, the influence of people like whoever is in the White House and be stupid <laughs> like that. And we don't want that. You know I mean? But Jeff, I thought you were, you were coming on the show as an actor, but not as a preacher or a, or a consultant. Or a, I mean, what's, Jeff what's... is a whole person. He's a whole person. He's Stand. so Jamaican. Stand I love it. Thank you very much. I never did that to, 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 to show it. I said, Jeff. <laughs> Why you want to put me in compartment, my boss? Well, you know, well, you know, me when, you, when you was here, right? Yeah, yeah. Part of me said I need to befriend this gentleman, <laughs> right? And I befriend you. And yeah. all of a sudden, now you're away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to adjust, Jeff. Just cut off the part next. Of Shop. course. <laughs> of course. You know? <laughs> no, man. Listen, in this nice. class, you have to be malleable. You know what I mean? You have to be because you meet people where they are. Okay, that's the first thing. I don't come wake up in the morning to change nobody. You meet them where they are, and you have you have to help them rise to your level if they ask for the the the, the um the help. Yes. You know, but I am not going to stoop to people who are more stupid than me. And and they have high high aspirations. Office, office, offices, of, high offices. <laughs> yeah. You know, legend in them own mind. You know? <laughs> this last thing with listen. This last thing with the you know yeah. You, you can talk, talk about it. Talk about it. It's okay. She it's says good. we're not going to talk about it, but you know, you, just just say. Have to do it, boss. Because when you come on public TV and tell people them people up themselves to drain or an all kind of something, you know what I mean? Come on, what kind of idiot you? All because you love hearing yourself talk. You know, it's like, come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm incensed because the children hearing them stupidity, you know, who are so well influenced from adults talking, look at this idiot. Calm oh. down, calm down no. Calm down no. This, this, this is the person in charge of the country. I'm going to listen to it. Oh, gosh, man. Calm down no. Calm down no, Jeff. Calm down no. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> I didn't mention no names. I didn't uh, mention no oh, names. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's good. I for you, for you, for you, just calm down. Oh, yes. Deep breath. Oh, no, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can go from A to B and back. It's no problem. Okay. I mean, I mean, say you like sharing it over me now, but it's all right. It's all right. Sharing it look like my family. She look like Mrs. Stacy. <laughs> That's right. We're family, y'all. Yeah? We're right. family. That's right. We might be, you know, you never know. This is Jamaica, St. Elizabeth, Manchester. You never know. Well, you know, exactly. let's talk about it offline. We might be cousins. <laughs> What's your last name? Oh, you don't want? Okay, you got it. You got it's it. It's Bailey. No, man, it's Bailey. 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 
Bailey. Okay, okay, okay. My mother's maiden name is Webb, and uh -huh. my grandmother's maiden name is McNamee, and I'm seeing some McNamee in you, so you never know. You never know. You <laughs> have, my 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 crossover is I'm, I'm um, maroon and Chinese and German. Wow. So uh, yes, me that kind of mud, maroon Chinese and German. What you call yourself, mud? Mud. Yes. Mud. I love the mud. maroon part, man. I'm jealous. Huh? I love the maroon part. I I'm so jealous. Oh man, that that is. What, what, we I lost think you, you might be muted. We lost you. You lo you mute you're muting yourself. You're muting yourself. Check check if you're muted. Uh, Jeff, if you're muted. Oh, okay. No. I'm sorry. Repeat that, Leo, because something. No, came. you had muted yourself. She said she loved the part of you that is, um, what is it again? Maroon. No, I love all part of you, but me jealous of the maroon part. <laughs> yeah, have you done your your um? Genealogy? No, no, not yet. I think I should. Yeah, because I think some is in you, and you don't know. Genealogy. Oh, thank you. Me go just own it. Me not about to do it just in case. Me find out. Me just go own it. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because the Maroons came and they did their thing, man. And oh, that love story. that. Yeah. Well, part of know, the people. Part of the part of the the um what the what the mountain name again? The cockpit country. Uh -huh. Is is in Manchester, isn't it? Part of it is in Manchester. I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. So, I think so. A compound, she... a compound is my um my people place. Okay, okay. Yeah. Congrats. Well, oh, thank you, love. Thank you. I, I have to tell you this. I have so much so much fun this morning. Jeffrey, I'm so thankful that you decided to join. You should come on the show more often. Just come come hang out with me and chat foolishness. Wait, wait, no, Jeffrey, don't hang out with him. Hang out with me. Okay, sure. More <laughs> fun that way. <laughs> <laughs> you have an evening show, boss, because the morning kill me, you know. So yeah, then, I, I have a music show in the evenings. Oh, yeah, so I, that's I mean, not talk, though. I, yeah, that's not talk, but we can talk. Okay. We can talk, but um, and but and I know that you're, you're a music man, you're, you're a music lover, you understand the music. Yeah. The music. yeah, so, you know, one of these evenings we can just hang out. Yeah, man, no, 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 I appreciate this. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and thank you for the publicity on the show. Yeah, and um, you know, there's a young man that you need to look out for. His name is Damian Brown out of Canada. Okay. He, is, uh, he was on this last episode of the show. You Damian know, so Brown. look out for him. I mean, well, why don't you have D Damian come on my show too? T tell Damian for come come out with us, with us too. Is yeah, I, I will. Yeah. I will. Yeah. And will. um, and and you, you can sing the song, sing the Arnold song, no? Which which Arnold song? The 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 the, the um. Yeah. And a Caribbean pizza, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining the show, man. And we'll catch up again soon, right? You're welcome, man. And thank you, Shernet. Tell the, tell the people for, for what you're Thank you, Jeffrey. Where, where, where to look out for Arnold, Arnold's Pizza? Arnold Caribbean Pizza, Tuesdays on Flow 1 at 8 p.m. Caribbean time. Caribbean time. Caribbean time. Yeah. Not not California time. Not California time. I don't. Yeah. It, it don't even show long yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Aspirations are high. Aspirations are high. Yes. <laughs> thank but, you but, so but much. Not yet. You know. Uh, and Kimon, thank you, Kimon. You're a blessing to this jackass right here. <laughs> oh Jesus oh. Christ! He never. He never got it. He never got there. He never got there. He did beautifully. He he well ne said. He never got the there. He the never got there. Drop okay? the mic. He never got there. Uh, <laughs> thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Shernet. Thank you. And thank you, Thank Jeffrey. you so much. Good meeting you and good luck to you and all the very best. Thank and thank remember, you. please give to Jamaica. Please, please, please. We need your love. We need your support. Yes. We need yes, it. Definitely. Have done and we'll do some more. Lovely. Thank you so much. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. Bye bye now. Thank you. Bye, -bye Lee. everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. bye.